Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing this uh, digital timer remote control. It's not branded and let's go and have a look at it. So this is the remote here and as you can see we've got the controller here and then this is the lead that plugs into the camera. Now we can actually uh, change what adaption is on the end of the lead depending on what camera we've got. Um, so with this one I've got it for Nikon. So this goes in my D750 and this cable here will go in other Nikon cameras. You can also get extensions for Canons, Olympus and Sony. So the reason we would use this is if we want to take something like a night exposure, we could press this button here and this will release the shutter on our camera. The reason we would use a shutter release rather than the shutter on the camera is because when we press the shutter on the camera, we don't want to make the camera move. Now it's not just a shutter release, it's also a timer. So this means we can set up time lapses. Uh, we can literally just plug this into our camera, put the settings in we need, and then we can just leave it to take the pictures. And once it's finished, we'll come back to it. And then we've got everything we need. So I got this off Amazon for about £12 and um, it's a lot cheaper than other shutter releases out there, especially if you're looking at the branded ones from say Nikon or Canon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a close up of the controller and give you an idea of how to use it. And uh, see what buttons we've got. Here is the uh, lock or the light background button. We've got the time stop start button. We've got the set button. We've got the arrow keys around the outside. The shutter release button and the hold button. So if I press the shutter release down, that's going to open the camera, and then if I slide up the hold, that will keep the camera taking pictures or whatever settings it's on. Now guys, uh, the build quality of this is quite good. I probably had mine for a year or two before I managed to break it, and I did this by leaving it in my bag, and the button got pushed in and it got jammed into place, and I couldn't release it. But say for £13, it's a throwaway item, you can just buy a new one, and if you look at the equivalent Canon, uh, the equivalent Canon remote, I've seen it online for between £110 and £150. So even at the lower range of that, you still can look at getting about eight or nine of these for the price of one Canon at Canon's lowest price. I say this does everything I want it to do, and it does it well, it's efficient, and uh, it also runs on AAA batteries. So you haven't got to worry about keep recharging the same batteries or keeping them in one place. Just have some AAA batteries on you, and uh, when they run out, just replace them with new ones. So guys, I'm going to give this uh, like a, a five out of five, really. I say for the price, the build quality, its functionality, uh, it does everything you need it to do. The times where I'd use it, it's very niche, but where I do need it, it does the job perfectly. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'm going to do a, a quick video on how to use this. Um, I'll link it at the end of this video, it'll probably be up in about a week or so. It'll run you for everything you need to know, and I'll show you how I use it to make a time-lapse picture as well. 